there's over 2,000 buildings in the NYCHA portfolio, and we're actually larger than Miami. A lot of our residents are seniors, low income. They are the most susceptible to some of the most negative impacts of climate change, including extreme heat. Particularly because of the work on Ford Independence, we decided to partner, further partner with NYSERDA and launch a global competition to take the technology a few steps forward. The clean heat for all is, is important because typically when you have new technologies that you're trying to commercialize, there's, there's significant costs associated with that. And here what we're doing is we're challenging manufacturers to reduce those costs to the, to the benefit of these customers with the idea that this will scale well beyond the 24,000 heat pump units that we're gonna procure. Well, buildings are uh, one of the primary sources of greenhouse gas emissions and heat pumps are a solution to that problem. The window heat pump prototype that we actually implemented in Foreign Independence, we are looking to create a very elegant, beautiful unit that does not obstruct the window, that plugs into the, the wall and sort of acts almost like an existing AC. Easy to install, doesn't require a lot of design. And that's what we're gonna be looking for in our, the market to bring to the housing authority and implement it across the portfolio. The work we're doing has, is really going to grow and scale. We're talking about starting off with about 24,000 air source heat pumps that are gonna meet certain specifications that we're working on with NYSERDA and NYCHA as our partners. This will scale up way beyond those numbers and this will scale probably beyond NYCHA to other low-cost multifamily dwellings throughout the state. NYCHA itself is about 3% of the producer of carbon in New York City. If we can tweak that number a little bit, we make a big change to the New York City region. But if we do major changes to our portfolio, we can change the whole Northeast region.